are searching for knowledge. What a discovery! Not from the world. And then you're pregnant. And then you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. And you're pregnant. That is real science. This is it, the invention of Kamerling Onus. This is the machine he built. Do you know who once applied to be Kamerling Onus's student? Einstein, Albert Einstein himself. The Onus laboratory was that famous at that time. And how did Onus and Einstein attract attention to their discoveries? They published their work. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, they wrote an article. And that, my dear scientists to be, is what is expected of us. Publish, let your voice be heard. The more publications you have, and the more important the journal in which you're published, the easier it is for you to receive funding, the better the university you work at, and the nicer you are. And then you die. But how amazing would it be if after you're dead, thousands of scientists can build upon your discovery? Because of the publish or perish mentality, we are currently facing an impossible amount of scientific articles. The well-respected The Lancet researched that a while ago, and they found that 85% of the published biomedical research is rubbish, nonsense, poppycock, hot air purely published for the sake of it, and which will only be read by one or maybe two others, and contributes nothing to society. Yes, what a discovery. Bees in the south of Peru land on a leaf with a serrated edge more often than a non-serrated one. And if they land there, then there is 18% less chance of rain in the north of Vietnam at the same moment. If you throw in enough data and you give it a good scientific stir, you'd be a complete idiot if you don't find any correlation between something and something else. And then you're published, and your H index goes up, and that, my dear scientists of the future, is a good thing. Not for society, not, not, not for the world, but for you. But that isn't what Honus did. Honus worked for years to prove something that he knew in his heart to be true. And because it was important. And because of that, we now know more about the physics of how our world works. He was searching for knowledge, not an article. And he found it. Through passion, honest curiosity, and perseverance. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is real science. And Onus is the kind of scientist you should want to be. Why don't you just say it? Then I'll leave you alone.
What do you think? You're Descartes, right? You did research into protein protein interaction. Oh, I'm more famous than I thought. <laughs> that sounds bitter. I'm Rebecca. Pierre. Would you like another one? Sure. Good. Cheers. <laughs> You come and put your hands on me. Sure. Good. Mm. It's how I like it, baby. Right here. It's what I want. Mm. 